Is it weird that I like all food? There's not a single food I dislike. I do have preferences of course, but I think I'm the least picky eater ever. My sister is the opposite. She is pretty picky and thinks I'm a weirdo for liking everything. I seriously can't think of a single food that I dislike. You should try my roommate's cooking. Welcome to the Human Garbage Disposal Club. I've been a proud member for decades. It's only weird in the sense that it's rare for people to like every food they have tried. Most non-picky people tend to have at least one food that is a hard no for them. Good on you for not being picky and being willing to explore new foods. I wish I was like that but I am a fussy R. I'm seeing a lot of what about posts in response to op. So yeah what about durian and natto. Etc. But I believe the intention behind OP's post was that of the common exposure. There's nothing they dislike. And I agree it's not that rare or weird. To basically be okay eating anything assuming no allergies isn't strange at all. I am not a picky eater at all. When my mom used to get takeout she'd ask me what I want and I'm like get me anything you know I ain't picky. Lol. But to say I don't dislike any food. I can't really say that as there's a lot of foods I haven't tried. I don't think it's weird that you like all foods at least that you know of. But maybe consider trying foods you haven't before. Have you tried lutefisk or rackfisk? Even olives. Weird OS. Oh. You like all food. Name all the foods then. I'm the same unless it's objectively bad cooking. It's not exactly normal but also not weird. We did an icebreaker at work for everyone to say their least fave food and probably one four of us said. We liked everything. Have you tried fermented fish? They serve it at some Asian restaurants I think usually authentic Chinese fare. I don't consider myself that picky. But I took a bite and gagged and almost threw up. Lol. Not weird at all. Maybe unusual to like everything but not weird. Your sister is the weird one for being picky. She is missing out on so much. Same here. I don't find it weird at all. I'm the same I'm just happy to be eating. It's uncommon but not weird. Out of curiosity. When you say dislike do you mean the refuse to eat kind of dislike? Or does that also include not having foods you just don't care for? I think it's great. Good for you. What about durian? Come to Asia have you ever had fried pig uterus? How about boiled intestines? The Thai cow shit dip is delicious seriously it's not actually shit. But it's the contents of the stomach. So more of a pre-shit grass cud. Clearly you haven't been experimenting enough. How about Sir Stroming? Or piss fermented shark from Iceland? Same bro. The only two only two foods I openly heartily dislike are liver and fish. My parents often go to cut the pig tradition in my country so they get a lot of organs meat from the pig. So sometimes they make patties out of the liver and other organs of the pig. And I cannot stand the smell and taste. And sometimes mom makes chicken liver pieces in some sort of cream sauce. I eat it but it is hard to. And fish BQs it has a lot of B-O-N-E-S. So I like fish without bones. Have you ever tried trailer park semen? Op if you are on a quest to find food you don't like. Seek out some hawkal. It's an Icelandic delicacy and it's even banned in some public places there because the smell is so offensive. Let's see if you like rotten shark. Awesome. You'll never go hungry. You are an adult. Haggis would like a word. Yay right lol.
It's impossible to like every food fear has to be something you tried that you don't like. For example I hate grits don't understand how people like it. And my mom hates peanut butter which is insane to me. I'm also not a fan of cabbage or cubed steak with onions Puerto Rican dish and I'm Puerto Rican. I love mushrooms but I most people I meet don't like mushrooms. Your sister is wrong and sad. But if you've really tried a broad variety of food and still like every single thing. That's pretty unusual. But I myself lean more in that direction than being picky. I'm the exact opposite. There are about 20 things that I'll eat and a million things I will not eat. If there hasn't been a food you disliked. You haven't ate enough different foods. Have you seen Balut? Even liver. I do wonder how much food you've tried though. Have you tried cousin from different countries Asian, African and Latin American countries, etc. All sorts of seafoods and spices, exotic fruits, and mixed tastes, like sweet meats, salty teas, etc. Yeah it's weird. Food preference is a survival instinct that historically prevents people from getting poisoned. If you're willing to eat anything at all without going wow that tastes bad someone could just as easily slip mercury in your food. I think in modern times parents have allowed their children to become ultra picky about the food they eat. 50 years ago it was normal to eat fried onions for dinner because that's all you had in the kitchen. Sounds like you might just be a fat ass. Poop is technically food for some animals. Do you eat that? As a woman who is picky. It's surprising when guys like all food. OFC I know guys can be picky too. I just don't know any women who like all food if that makes sense. If a friend of yours served up amputated foot tacos, would you eat them? I wish I was like this. But being allergic to all nuts and shellfish RLLY makes it lame LMAO. I mean, I dislike a fair number of things beets, okra, etc. But hey, liking everything will probably lead to a healthier, more varied diet. So that's great. Can't do tomatoes. Try Ritz crackers with whipped cream from the spray can you know. No one I know except me likes it. You should take your talents and become a judge on a cooking competition show. You have no bias. Well, congratulations. My friend you've clearly unlocked the achievement for ultimate food compatibility. Now, go out there and conquer the world of gastronomy with your fearless taste buds. Try Sir Stroming. How about pickled herring? I will also eat almost anything. I'm allergic to onions. They cause massive GI distress. But I still like them and would I could eat them. So far, the only things I've sound that I don't like eating are red licorice of any make. And am I be sweet shrimp sashimi? That said, I'm not sure I'd ever want to try balut or ortolan. The idea of eating something with both feathers and bones seems unsettling to me. What about Rocky Mountain oysters? Have you tried natto? Limburger cheese. I've eaten a lot of stinky foods but that cheese is revolting. Double batter fried pickled soft boiled eggs with a side of dog shit will get you to chance your mind. Have you tried Filipino food? You should try Leshon or even our Lumpia love it. Have you tried all kinds of bizarre foods though? From other cultures. Things your culture does not consider food. Sources of protein people would only consider in survival situations. If at all.